good morning. Just came into Arizona. We got to go to Jackson, Georgia uh, with a load of lettuce. Probably won't be able to deliver it till Saturday morning. It's a drop and hook, but for some reason they won't let us drop early. Uh, we'll be there probably Friday at noon, so I'll have plenty of time to read my Bible. <laughs> I started back in Genesis again. Uh, I want to continue today to remember uh, Joey Robbins and his family, Yvonne Robbins. I hope I'm remembering her name right. Uh, has been tested positive with COVID now. I mean, that family's gone through enough. So let's keep them in your prayers. Dale, uh, Joey's uncle, Grace Through Face, father, is still in the hospital. Uh, so let's remember him in prayer. If y'all can give me an update on that, I'd appreciate it. Uh, uh, Mr. Dunn, Joey, Joe Dunn's father, uh, has, it looks like his cancer has come back, and uh, so continue to pray for him. And wow, it's been this year has been something else. It's been an amazing year. I, uh, I just, I don't know ready for the year to be over with it won't be long I uh, the Bible says uh, in uh, 2 Timothy uh, what is it 2.15 and 16 uh, all scripture is given by inspiration of God and then uh, the next verse says so that the man of God can be truly finished, furnished uh, unto all good work. So the question comes up, do we have the scripture? Do you have the inerrant, infallible, inspired word of God in the King James Bible? Now, I am not a scholar when it comes to the Greek. Don't read the Greek. Uh, I can look stuff up in the Strong's Concordance like anybody else. But I found out you have two classes of King James Bible believers. You have the Texas Receptus, which believe those were the scriptures, the pure words of God. Uh, and then the King James is the best translation of that. And then you have those that believe that the King James is infallible and without mistakes. I guess I should say I am in the second class. Uh, in Psalm chapter 12, it said the words, plural, of the Lord are pure words. Uh, Try to silver, I'm going to misquote it. Uh, in a furnace, in the ground, uh, something uh, uh, tried seven times, burned seven times. Anyhow, you can go into a whole thing, and there were seven steps to get your King James Bible. And uh, so, and then the next verse says, uh, You will preserve them, O Lord, you will keep them from this generation and forever. The words. So my question is, do you have the words? I'm talking to the King James Bible believers. I'm not even talking to uh, people that don't use the King James. But, uh, so, oh, whoa. Uh, I don't know where you stand in that, and um, it makes no difference to me. I don't have a copy of of the Texas Receptus. Now, you get you, people don't make a mistake, they'll say the originals, and that is always thrown around the word, the originals. Well, folks, nobody's got the originals. Nobody on earth, they got little bitty pieces of them. 
when Jesus stood in the synagogue and they handed him that scroll and he opened up Isaiah 66 or 63 whichever one it was and read from it he was reading a copy of the copy of the copy of the copy <laughs> of the scriptures when Paul told Timothy he said from a young man you have had the scriptures he was holding a copy the, Bi the King James Bible says all scripture is given by inspiration so if you have a copy of the scriptures you can be thoroughly furnished as a man of God you have the words of God if you do not have a copy of the scriptures then what's the point uh, I get a little black for a preacher that I watch and uh, how he's heretical and that he believed in the inspiration of the King James and double inspiration and all this stuff. I got to tell you folks, I believed in the King James Bible 30 years before I ever heard that man preach a sermon. So, you know, I believed in the inerrant, infallible word of God is preserved in the King James Bible. I believe that they it was written down by imperfect men just as the originals were written down by imperfect men. But I believe the same God that wrote it down in the originals and uh, God breathed, spoke to those men through the Holy Spirit preserved his word in English and in German. There's a lot of languages that come from the Texas Receptus. I believe the Texas Receptus is the best one. Uh, now, I'm not a... I, I can't go into a big detail on that. But you got, uh, you know, German Martin Luther, that's a good one. Uh, and if you read the Martin Luther Bible and you read the English, they probably not aren't going to match exactly, but they're both inspired or preserved by the word by the Holy Spirit of God he didn't go away all of a sudden and he had it written down exactly how he wants now if you don't believe that then why are you even a King James Bible believer I don't get it uh, <clears throat> I really don't but anyway so uh, just to make it clear that's where I stand I stand with the one that we hold in our hand uh, you'll never hear me say 1611 because I don't read from the 1611. I read from whatever the uh, the one is now when they made all the spelling corrections and stuff. But yes, I do believe that it is the words, plural, of God. How is he going to be able to judge a fella if the fella didn't have the words of God? <clears throat> you say, well, the English... What about the people that don't have it in English? Um, I believe that, well, English, if you want perfect time, you go to Greenwich, England. If you want uh, to know where you are on the planet, it, the English came up with la longitude and latitude. You have to start there. Uh, England was a seafaring port. Uh, ocean faring they could spread the word of God more than anyone the, the most everyone in the world today their second language is English it's the most known language on the planet earth today so yes I do believe that God preserved his word in the English language and it can be preserved and is being preserved in other languages but uh, anyway that's where I stand go ahead and attack me in the comments god bless you remember to pray for all those people and uh especially joey and his family they've really had it rough and uh his uncle dale he's not doing well and uh melvin dunn uh, that the cancer won't come back i just uh i watched a video by joe yesterday and it it just broke my heart because uh i know how that is I lost a 
sister to cancer. It's a terrible thing. But anyway, there you go. Now you know where I stand. Uh, go ahead and leave your comment. God bless you. Oh yeah, read those Bibles. Read that King James Bible. I believe it's inspired. <laughs> and pray without ceasing.